scared of dentists and the dark I was scared of pretty girls and starting conversations All my friends are turning green Yeah, the magician's assistant in their dreams Hello everyone, it's Gingery Ham. See if I can get the wave in there. There we go. Um, and today is going to be a very special kind of surprise. Um, there is no new hamster or anything. Um, but I did get Ginger a new tank. Well, it's not a tank. It is the IKEA Detolf glass shelf hamster cage thing. That was supposed to be really exciting kind of sounding, but it isn't. Um, and so, uh, I got this a few days ago, and, um, Ginger hasn't really, uh, he's looked around a bit, but he spends all of his time just in a tank that it's connected to right now, just so he gets used to it. Um, and I literally put almost all of the toys that I have in here to fill it up. And there's still lots of empty spaces where I wish I could have could put more toys because most of my other all of my other toys are in his tank right now, including his water bottle and his food bowl. Um, but uh, I did um, put his favorite toy in here. It's kind of like a toy treat. It's um, I think it's Good Bite. I think that's uh, the brand name. I'll put it up on the screen now. Uh, but this is just an Apple thing. And Kimmy Green 17 did a review on this, and so I thought I'd give it a try. And as you can see, Ginger absolutely loves it. Um, and there's no, uh, it doesn't alter their diet, and there's no calories in it. So it's perfect little chew toy, but it actually tastes good. So that's where he put it, I think. Um, but I guess I'll just give you a little cage tour. I'll try to make it only a few minutes long. But I have Carefresh over there with some chew toys and his um, Puzzle Playground Igloo thing that was in his Critter Trail, which I now have gone rid of. Here is his hay tunnel and a wood thing with a salt block. And then that um, not nibbler thing was right over there, but I guess last night he took it off. And then his uh, apple thing, and then his medium-sized flying saucer, and then a a uh, carrot wood chew, chew toy, and a corn wood chew toy, and then his wooden tree trunk hide house. Now I guess we will get on to the other side. Now on to the other side. Over here on the tree trunk hide house, I have a mini bendy bridge and then um, a rainbow wreath kind of thing um, which is connected to the metal frame and uh, this is the first time I've actually ever put this toy in the cage so I wonder if he's gonna like it or not um, and then there is uh, I'll get a better view of it here is the um, it's like a wooden barrel toy and then sorry my camera just died um, so I will just keep going on with the tour I guess and over here I have this um, wooden uh, uh, it's like a birdhouse it's supposed to look like and I just put some care fresh in there and then over here I have this kebab, which he's already chewed on quite a bit. Um, and then a ceramic mug there. And then over here, let's see if I can get a view of it. Over here is his uh, house thing. And, and um, I put a little... Okay, let's make this quick. It just died and it's really complaining right now. So I did put a papaya thing right on the purple thing. And then over here I have some 
apple sticks and then a, a wicker um a whip and wicker carrot tube thing and then a big long uh, i think it's like a wrapping paper tube and then a hanging toy i don't know how to describe it and then a living world seesaw and one of those um hideaway things like hey completely natural hey hideaway things and then national geographic's basket with two mineral chews in it and seagrass twists surrounding it okay here is an overview of the detolf i will be doing more with this cage um once at least once he uh, gets used to it a bit more and the substrate is just some aspen just i'll see if i can zoom in